Thank you, Mayor, Council Members. This is just a quick overview of uh, what the accomplishments were for uh, 2019 for the Fire Department. Um, <clears throat> First of all, uh, we live by our mission statement. So the uh, Sheboygan Fire Department is dedicated to serving all who visit, who live, who work, and invest in the city of Sheboygan through excellence in fire protection, rescue, emergency, and non-emergency medical services, code enforcement, and education, and at the highest professional level in a compassionate, ethical, and cost-effective manner. So our, our, three, uh, our three words that we really live by are courage, honor, and integrity. And that's something we preach on a daily basis. So some of the highlights that we uh, accomplished last year, we installed over 160 smoke alarms. And truly what that is, is we don't necessarily just uh, get appointments. Sometimes we do on, on a rare occasion, but mostly it's when our staff are out on calls and enter a residence or even a business for that matter. And if they didn't have a working smoke alarm, we would install it for them. As you are aware, we finished the renovation in our Station 1, which is over 113 years old. Uh, it also uh, is our busiest station for Sheboygan. So that was completed in 2019. And out of the 5,735 5, calls, we were able to meet our NFPA standards of arriving within 380 seconds, 88% of the time. So th that is quite an accomplishment for all those calls. We are trying to get our benchmark to over 90% of the time. So we'll continue to work on that. We also took receipt of our 100 foot aerial ladder platform, which is housed at station three, our headquarters station. And Acuity donated $1,000 to the fire department. Um, and it was on a recommendation nomination from the Jackson Elementary second grade class, uh, Elizabeth Rommel's class. So we used a portion of that money to go, uh, purchase our thermal imaging camera, which will allow us to find uh, any, any patients or victims where it's low visibility and, and difficult to find. In 2019, we also, uh, as you are aware, had an incident at the cargo malting facility where we uh, were able to safely evacuate three of the employees. Uh, along, this was in coordination with the Sheboygan County Technical Rescue Team, employees from Cargill, and the Sheboygan Police Department. So everybody was evacuated safely, which is great. And then later that fall, they, uh, we were nominated along with the Technical Rescue Team for the Hometown Hero Award which was presented at the state capitol. Also, Assistant Chief Butler is heavily involved with the Dementia Crisis Program, and uh, he was awarded the Hometown Hero Award last year as well. Several retirements uh, occurred in 2019. Uh, we had also several promotions due to those uh, retirements. And then we were uh, also appointing, we had about uh, eight employees that were hired uh, and then uh, a couple of them had, had left so that's why they're not up here. Uh, some of our responses, so we, as I mentioned before, we run over 5,000 calls. Uh, out of those 5,700, uh, we have about 4,516 that are all rescue or EMS related. So it's not just ambulance calls. Rescue could be somebody trapped in an elevator, somebody out on the water. Uh, we had about 89 structure fires, and then the rest were other calls for service. Uh, as our call volume continues to increase, we also see an overlapping incident increase. And what that overlapping incident means is that when one uh, station or unit is out on a call, we have another multiple call come in at the same time. So these are simultaneous calls. Sometimes there's two, three, four, five calls come, occurring at once. So it's increasing over the uh, past year. So we're at about 45% of our incidents are overlapping. 
Our busiest time of day is between the 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. hours. Uh, so that's just a statistic of where our busiest times are. And then our busiest days of the week uh, roughly are Monday and Thursday. Uh, typically in most fire departments, you see that Friday, Saturday be uh, one of the busier, but for us it's that Monday, Thursday. Uh, this is just another stat of uh, how many of the EMS runs we, we ran in 2019. These are all strictly EMS medical related any time an ambulance went out or an assist a patient. One of the things we pride ourselves on is training. Uh, we have a very active training department and all our personnel are, are, are just um, constantly wanting to go to class for their education. This is just a breakdown of where that training distribution is. Uh, majority of the EMS and fire related, uh, like firefighter driving, uh, apparatus related, and then the rest are all breaked out is some of the firefighter basic skills that we do. We try to do some administrative training as well. And then uh, we have health safety management and then hazardous materials as well as some of the tech rescue. So our big months of fire prevention, September and October. And during this, those two months, we do uh, the programs of going out to the schools. And these are some of the topics that you see. Uh, and every, it's through K through five. So every year we do a different program. So the kindergartners aren't getting the same class that a first grader would get. So that way we progress and they get uh, exposed to different aspects. Uh, last year we did about 149 programs and we saw over 3,000 students. Uh, again, the students are something we can't control. We don't know what the student volume will be, but uh, it's pretty impressive, over 3,000. And also our Fire Prevention Bureau also does, uh, completes about 1,900 uh, of the businesses. So we do about uh, 1,987 inspections throughout the community. So that's just a little synopsis of the, our 2019, so I appreciate it. And if anybody has any questions, please, I'll be glad to answer. Otherwise, thank you.